know, I'm very fortunate to, to be one of the primary recipients of the enormous outpouring of support and love from the Jewish community, from the evangelical community, frankly, from the entire American community with regard to this incredible, courageous, and important decision to move the embassy. I must tell you, many other people deserve the credit. First and foremost, none of this happens. None of this happens without the courage, the vision, and the strength, and the moral clarity of the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. And it goes beyond that. We need, we need support. It doesn't get done without the State Department. Our State Department uh, is doing great work uh, under the, uh, under the uh, when, when John J. Sullivan act, was the acting Secretary of State leading the, to the transition with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. And even before that, we had enormous support from the Department of State. We had enormous support from the National Security Council, now led by one of Israel's greatest supporters, John Bolton. And we had enormous support from two of my closest friends, my two partners in this endeavor, who along with me have worked tirelessly to strengthen the relationship between the United States and Israel and to bring us to this day, Jared Kushner and Jason Greenblatt. One of the things that gratifies me tremendously is that now that we are entering yet another campaign season and President Trump travels throughout the nation, his biggest applause line in places like Indiana and Michigan. Not, now we're not talking about Long Island or Borough Park or, I'm talking about middle of the country, the biggest applause lines. He gets this every time is when he reminds people that he's moving the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. It is the single most popular thing that he has done and the encouragement from the entire American community is more than heartwarming. People support the president's decision really on two levels. Those of us who are emotionally, intellectually, politically connected to Israel, of course this is something we've been waiting for for 70 years. But even those in the American community who are not as connected to the state of Israel, they applaud the president's decision because they applaud the United States when it returns to the leadership of the world, when it returns to moral clarity, when it returns to truth, when it supports its allies, including its best friend and ally, the State of Israel. This, these are the values that the people of the United States hold dear. Last night I stood right here at this very same place and I spoke at an event sponsored by the Friends of Zion, one of many evangelical groups that have supported our efforts to move the embassy to Jerusalem. I want to say to my friends of the Jewish faith who I've grown up with and have known my entire life, through this experience I can tell you something very profound and very important. When it comes to the state of Israel, when it comes to our values, we are not alone. We have great, great friends in the evangelical community. And the nations of the world are returning to Israel, and they are led by Israel's greatest friend, the United States of America. As those of us who pray to the Jewish God, those of, us, those of us who are Jewish and pray to God as we pray every day, may we see the beginning of God turning to the city of Jerusalem with his mercy. And so let it be. Thank you so much.